jobs. Some people like them, some people hate them. Yeah, but everyone kind of needs to get them at some stage. And I've just recently gotten my first job and I'm hoping I can help some of you guys to get yours. Also, by the way, happy Easter, guys. It is Easter Sunday right now. It probably is Easter Monday or, you know, in the future when you guys are watching it. So, how are you going? And, um, yeah, I'll just get on to the video now. Enough talking. So, tip number one is about your resumes. Because if you've never had a job before, then you probably don't have much you can put on your resume, right? Wrong. If you've done any volunteering or you've been in any sort of leadership position at school or outside of school, you need to put that down there because it shows that you actually can do stuff. Also, you need to put down your leading personality traits. If you think that you're very independent, you're very self-motivated, you need to put those down. But the key words that people reading your resume are going to pick up on. Not so much your resume, but because that's more your list of achievements, but definitely in your cover letter. So I just mentioned a cover letter. What exactly is a cover letter and like what's it different to a resume? So a resume is more a list of achievements or positions you've been in, places you've worked at. Whereas a cover letter is like a direct letter to the person you're employing, you're trying to get employed by, and you want to try and write it to a certain name. Like you want to find out who the manager is or who the employment officer is, whoever you want to um, try to put it to a certain person. Otherwise, you can just do it to whom it may concern or to the company you want to work at. And then you want to make like kind of almost a personal, you know, I think I'd be good for this job. I came across this job when, you know. My leading traits are I've been in these types of jobs before, you don't need to go into too much detail. And also right at the end you need to do a call to action, you need to say if you would be interested in employing me, don't hesitate to ask for an interview or a trial shift and um, I will happily you know, help you figure out if I'm the right person for the job. Stuff like that. You need to have a cover letter because most places won't even look at your resume if you don't have a cover letter. Oh wait, two very important things about cover letters and resumes. On your cover letter, you need to have your details so they can actually contact you. And secondly, your cover letter needs to be different for each job you're applying to. Your resume can be the same because it's a list of achievements, as I've just said, but the cover letter needs to be specific for the specific jobs you're applying for. So let's say you've you know, done a great resume and you've gotten through to the interview stage. Now for the interview, there's a couple of things you need to know. First impressions are everything. So don't walk up in your dressing gown being like, oh, hey bro, how you doing? Kind of just common sense, really. So you want to dress well, you need to definitely have your hair nice and tied back, you know, don't, don't have it all flowing. If you're applying for an office job, don't have like really, you know, floral clothes or bright colours. You really want to be quite professional and you want to know who you're going to get interviewed by before you can, if you can, so you can address them by their name. You need to basically be listening, you need to smile a lot because they often look for positivity in a role. Basically, just first impressions are everything in job interviews. So you followed all these tips so far and you've gotten to the trial shift. My house is so noisy at the moment, you probably can't hear anything. There's literally a blender going on downstairs. Take two. Alright, so you've gotten to the trial shift. Now this is the day they call you in to do a day of work or maybe a shift or something. And um, they're not going to pay you, but they're going to look not so much at your skills because they always know they can build on your skills. But they're going to look at your attitude, they're going to look at how productive you are, proactive. They're going to look at if whether you're just standing around doing nothing, or waiting to be asked what to do, or if you're looking for things to do, you're wiping down counters, you're pushing in chairs, you're tidying things. I don't know. Basically, my main tip for the trial shift, if you get there, is you need to be proactive. You just need to look busy. Even if there's nothing to do, it's super quiet, everything's clean, just wipe down a counter, push in a chair, ask a customer if they need anything. Just look like you're busy and then you'll get the job, I think. And another thing is you need to be super respectful and try to be quite quiet as well. Like, don't make a big statement of yourself being like, all right, who wants drinks on the house? Definitely don't, never do that. Um, but otherwise, I think you've gotten all the tips to get your first job and I hope you guys have good luck if you're getting your own jobs. And bye.